Today's recipe, we're gonna get some veggies into your diet. We're making vegetable quesadillas. And I'm gonna show you how to make these so that they are just super delicious. I'm gonna be cooking the vegetables in a particular way that's gonna bring out some great flavor. It's nice and savory. And if you're feeding this to kids, they're gonna love it too. And I'm also making this gluten-free because we're gonna be using uh, siete flour tortillas. Well, they're not really flour, they're cassava flour tortillas and they're gluten-free. And it's, it's a great tortilla to use if you're you know, interested in that, you can, or you can use regular good old-fashioned flour tortilla. So the option is yours. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So we're gonna start off our recipe by cutting up a zucchini. So I'm gonna slice it in half and then cut it into sticks essentially and then we'll chop that up nice and fine and that will ensure that it cooks up nice and quick and we can disperse it throughout the whole quesadilla really easily. Now we're going to grate up a carrot and I like to grate it up because well it's quick and easy and it will cook up quickly as well. I'm also using a little broccoli in this so take your uh, little crowns there and cut them up into small pieces so you don't have any really big chunks and, and they'll cook up quick as well. Now remember you can always uh, you know, improvise on your veggies, whatever ones you like to use, go ahead and use those, cut them up small, and it all works. And of course, I'm gonna add some of my favorite herb, basil, so we're just gonna stack them and roll them and slice them up, and that way uh, we get lots of nutrition into our diet. And pretty much everything I've used here is organic, by the way. So we'll grab a frying pan here and place the pan over medium-high heat. And then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the pan and let that get hot. Swirl that oil in the pan to coat it and then we'll add our zucchini and all our vegetables. So we're gonna saute these for about 10 minutes or until they soften up. So when you're cooking these, make sure your temperature's high enough so that you can actually get a little caramelization going on. Because if you see here, right here, that's what you want, that nice brown, those brown, you know, charred parts that make for a really a tasty dish. Now that these are done, we're gonna just set them aside in a bowl and we'll keep them warm so we can add them to our quesadilla a little bit later. So I'm gonna wipe out my frying pan and use the same one uh, with a paper towel and add a little bit of butter. All right, I added a little too much, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that out. All right, so place your tortilla in the butter, and we'll add some cheese. Not too much right here. This is gonna just kinda of hold everything together as it melts. It's gonna keep all the veggies in place and make it stick so that when I flip it over, they don't go flying out. We're gonna scoop in some veggies and load it up. I like a lot of veggies here. Now we'll add some of that fresh basil, and then we'll add some more cheese. And then we'll top it off with our tortilla. All right, so while our quesadilla is cooking, I have a little chef joke for you, real quick here. Why did the chef quit? They cut his celery. Okay, back to the recipe. So we're cooking our quesadilla here over medium low heat. We don't want it to be too hot. And you wanna check, look for that nice golden brown underneath and then flip it over. Now let's serve this up. You can see how beautiful and delicious that looks. All right, let's give this a taste and see how it is. Wow, all I can say is, you know, cooking up those veggies beforehand is where it's at. So if you enjoyed that quesadilla like I did, boy, it was delicious. Uh, you might wanna try another one of my Mexican recipes. So I got one for you right over here. I'm gonna leave a link for you. Check that one out. It is cloud bread chili rellenos. It's not hard to make 
and they're not cooked in the oil like they traditionally are, although I have a recipe for that. But these are healthier because they're baked in the oven and the sauce is just incredible. You're gonna love it, guys. These are just the best. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment and hit that subscribe button. All right, we'll see you next time.